All right, welcome back to my tutorial. This is lesson two of using the AV Foundation framework to interact with your camera device to show you a preview of what your camera is seeing. And then also in the next lesson, I will show you how to capture an image from that preview and display it here. All right, now as you can see, we already have our, our GUI set up um, with our custom view, our three buttons in our NS image view, our classes, our objects. Um, here we have our outlets, our action methods. All right, so let's go ahead and dive right into it. We're going to go ahead and implement or create some instances of some classes from the AV Foundation framework. I'm going to go ahead and declare them here. So we're going to have AV Capture Session. I'll call this Session. We're going to have the Capture Connection. I'm going to call this Video Connection. And then also our AV Capture Still Image Output. I'm going to call this Still Image Output. Output for clarity. Okay. All right. So now that we have, we have our action methods here, but let's go ahead and create two separate methods. Um, the first one is going to return void, and it's going to initialize our capture session. Um, here, it's going to initialize the actual capture session, and then add the um, presets, and then also adding our uh, input device. The second one is also going to have a return type of void, and um, we call this setup preview layer. Alright, so coming back here to our implementation file, um, I did add this, this wasn't in the previous tutorial, here you have the event view to load and also you have the view will appear. Uh, this is actually, this event will fire before the fact, so um, I actually like to use that one. It is my preference. I'm going to go ahead and move everything over. Um, you can use this one, um, doesn't matter, it'll work just fine all the same. Alright, so let's go ahead and um, define our action methods. Um, start preview click ID sender. I swear I press backspace more than I actually type. It seems like. All right, stop preview click ID sender, and then for the third button, uh, take. Click ID sender. All right, and then now for our two standard methods, I'm gonna go ahead and declare them here. We're gonna say um, initialize capture session, and then um, set up the preview layer. All right, so here in our uh, initialize capture session, we're gonna put session equals AV capture session allocate and then initialize. All right, next thing we need to set the preset, which is the video slash image quality. And you can test to see what um, you can set by going if session can, can set session preset AV capture. I'm gonna go ahead and use high, a high quality preset um, session. Uh, I need to change that, but I'll get to that. AV capture session preset I. All right, and then next thing we need to do, once we set that, we need to assign our input device. All right, so go ahead and make uh, AV capture session capture device. We'll call this our just device. Right, equals nil. Golly, I cannot type today. All right, next thing, go ahead and use your AV capture device input. We'll call this device input equals nil. All right, so the next thing you need to do is, is you need to get all available devices. Okay, you're going to use an NS array. We'll call this devices equals AV capture device devices with media type. Obviously, we're going to use the AV media type um, video. All right, so once that comes out, um, go ahead and loop through it. You'll use AV capture device. I'll call this dev in devices. Alright, and uh, these warnings are just because we're not 
using unused variable unused variable it'll go it'll go away once we start using them all right so here you can actually use the same method for iOS applications and typically one of the things you would want to check when using an iPhone is uh, whether the cameras in the front or the back all right so you would use if session position equals AV capture device uh, position and then you have the back the front and unspecified so you have these three options um, typically for a Mac application um, more than likely you're only gonna have one camera device um, so I'm gonna show you a quick way how to grab that first but let me just go through this so um, and you can also get the name of your devices as well and you get use the localized name property localized name okay and then I'm gonna go ahead and initialize initialize capture session all right, I'm gonna go ahead and run that. And as you can see, the one and only device that I have is my FaceTime high definition camera built into my iMac that uh, my wife bought me a while back. Thank you, babe. All right, so moving forward, let's go ahead and stop that. Okay, once you get that, let's say that we're looking for the, the front device. Um, it's not really gonna apply to this, this uh, project, but let's just say position, If position equals AV capture device position, let's just say the front. All right, then this is where you would sign your device equals dev. All right, so once you have that, you can also add a line um, if um, device still equals null. Um, then we know, obviously know that we have a problem. That something didn't happen, okay? But we're not. I'm not going to add that in here. All right, then you'll use your um, device input equals AV capture device input allocate and then initialize with device. All right, and then you'll just put uh, your instance of your device here. Next uh, parameter is going to be a reference to an NS error, and obviously a reference you use the app ran sign and then uh, the name of your instance, but I'm just going to go put nil, nil. Uh, but if you want to use NS error, here you can just do that right there. And um, apparent sign and then error. And then, um, and then afterwards you can check if um, error and then obviously something went wrong okay so that's how you get your device input all right that's how you initialize your device input and then coming back here I'm going to show you actually a shorter way of doing this um, code is just like it's like artwork you know it has to look beautiful it has to be um, symmetrical so I'm gonna go ahead and erase all this these um, about nine eight nine lines of code and come back here I'm gonna say AV capture device input uh, device input equals AV capture device input allocate and initialize with device then we're going to say AV capture device devices with media type AV capture oh, AV media type video and then obviously we know that this um, this part right here is, is returning an NS array, so we're just going to grab the one and only device in there with an index of zero. Then we have our error parameter that we're going to put to nil. All right, so once you have that, looks like you're good to go. All right, so let's see, that's a lot shorter. Uh, it's a little less messy. All right, so once you have your, your device input, we're going to add have to add that to the session. So you'll say, same thing with your preset if session can add input device input if it can let's go ahead and add it then because that's what we want to do <laughs> all right and then obviously you can do an else block and check you know if there's an error okay so coming back so now that we have uh, we've assigned our our input 
uh, we set the preset or the quality uh, we're good to go now we can go on to the next method and that the next method is actually setting up the preview layer which we declared here okay and then we're going to implement here so it says self dot preview layer equals av capture preview uh oh capture video preview layer allocate and initialize with session and type in session okay you can actually do this one of two ways you can do it like this with the allocation and then the initialization with the session or you can just one code block av capture video preview layer layer with session I'm not going to go into depth why you'd use one or the other but just so you know both would work in this project okay I'm just going to go ahead and use the actual way um, AB capture video preview layer allocate and then initialize with session and I'm just going to type session all right all right so we need to set a, a couple, actually two properties on the preview layer. One, we need to set the video gravity. So self dot preview layer dot video gravity. You could do that, or obviously, um, just to kind of give you a little heads up dot preview layer. That set video gravity. You could use that. Either one's fine. Um, I'm going to use this one. So AB, then you use AB layer. And then grab the video gravity and then you can have the option of resize resize aspect and then resize aspect fill I'm gonna go and use the fill okay and the next one is self you're gonna want to set the frame set frame you could use it like that or obviously self dot preview layer oh, that frame and then you say equals And then we're going to say self dot view dot bounds, which actually the dimensions is, is the frame, so bounds is actually the same. All right. So moving forward, we need to add this preview layer to our main view layer. Okay. So you'll say self dot view dot layer dot add sub layer, and then you'll add the preview layer. All right. So now that we have that. Okay, let's go ahead and go to our start preview, our action method. Okay, so first you can add a little check in there and make sure that is the session not running? Make sure it's not running. Is running? If it's not running, then go ahead and start the session. Start running. Alright, same thing for our stop preview. It's going to be the opposite. So if session is running, session stop running all right so probably the simplest thing we've done so far all right so here we initialize the capture session uh, we initialize the instance uh, we set the preset to high and then we also got the uh, device input uh, with a little bit of shorter code here's the this this just so you know this is an NS array this method right here device media type turns the NS array and then on this computer I only have one device so it's just index of zero and that is just a nil error because I know it's gonna work when you do this project yourself you're probably gonna wanna add a lot more exception handling to it just so you know and then also if there's something that you're gonna be distributing to others um, you don't know what their devices are capable of um, so it's, it's a good idea to do it I'm just not doing it just for the for the sake of keeping trying to keep this short all right, so now that you have all this here, everything looks good. Um, custom view, sent once later, add view, initialize capture session. So here, let's go ahead and put self that setup preview layer. All right, so we have our methods. All right, so it looks good. I hope this runs, or else that's going to be kind of embarrassing or a waste of time. All right, you ready? and boom there you go and you see my dirty room whatever who cares so that's how you get the preview uh, I hope to see you in my next tutorial where we'll actually be capturing uh, from this preview to that NS image view alright thanks for watching